So um, I'm honored to be on your show. I'm honored that you cared enough to invite me. I'm humbled by each time someone cares uh, that I lived the life. I'm inspired. I'm writing a book that has just uh, allowed me to share my stories. I met some amazing people. And, uh, I, and um, I'm grateful. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm Absolutely. Grateful. grateful. Absolutely. That's what it's about. <laughs> if, 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 if we aren't grateful for the opportunities that God gives us while we're here, then why are we truly here? You know, he, he gives everybody something special and something different. And we have to know it's not to be taken uh, advantage of or it's not to be taken for granted. No. And, you know, I don't believe in coincidences and that's why we're sitting here right now, yes. you know, because. I, this is something that I let go before. Oh, wow. You're, what you're doing? Yes. Yeah. Show? I, I, let it, I, I let it go before, you know, just, on, just doing this on YouTube. But I, I started out with my cousin before, um, and she and I had to separate, you know. And, and so after that, I said, you know, I, I don't think this is really the thing, you know. Maybe I was just doing it because of, but it kept coming back. Yeah. And so I'm like, okay. But I'm not used to being on my own, so <laughs> what am I going to do? But I had to learn how to truly be on my own and say, you know what? It's just me. It's just you? And I, I had to learn that. And I, I thank God for the opportunity and experiences that I've been through because now I know how to stand on my own because if I hadn't gone through that situation, I probably would have still tried to find somebody else to say, hey, I, let me lean on you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Your crutch. Yeah. God right. allowed you to go of that crutch. And right. that, that was that was it. You know, mine was uh yeah. So well, you know, I never know what it is or why I'm in a situation or why I'm going here. Mm -hmm. But I just know that you came to, <laughs> twice, you know, you came and I'm laughing because it's like I, I said to my husband, I gotta get an assistant. I said, um, I called Gerald before because everybody's looking on it, you know. Uh, looking for this to be on tonight. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, okay, tonight at the clock, y'all. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so I've got to get some help. <laughs> that's, that's, it's okay. I got to get some help because my whole thing was I want to do it by myself. Uh, I lived in the, in the shadows being Bonnie Rosenthal. Uh, I'm, I'm yeah. able to write a one woman show about it now, but it was, uh, it was a brave thing to do. Um, but it was also uh, um, a dangerous thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, I had an agent tell me that when I was looking for an agent recently. Well, two, it was two years, about two years ago now. And mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Paul looked at me and his face got red when I told him the truth. He said, no, you couldn't have told them because they would have crucified you. Because I mean, I went in. I, I got into doing Bonnie so good. Oh, and Wes and how, how you doing? Isn't she, don't you love her? Isn't she fabulous? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, though. Listen, are we going to make a deal? Mm -hmm. A thousand. Absolutely not a time less. No, do what you need to do, darling. I can't go down. Not at all. Two first class tickets. That's right. Two bedroom suite. Not less than four star. She loves the... Yes, yeah, she loves the rent. Okay, American Airlines, you have a number? All right, darling, let me know. Mm. Handle it for me, sweetie. All right, darling, bye-bye. Every day. All day. Wow. And they didn't even know. I couldn't, and I had, so I, I was always afraid. So, so part of my aloneness was I was afraid that someone would tell. Mm -hmm. If they were around me and I had to take a call. Because mm. Bonnie had to take the calls when they came in. <laughs> my brother knew, my brother Timothy, who was a wonderful actor and an amazing human being. Yes, your brother, yes, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, so I've written a, a film about it. And what we hope to do is we're looking to, we wanted to do in the Little Rock, and I would always often say to the city uh, planners there, I want to do for Little Rock what Tyler did for Atlanta. But now That's I'm like, right. I want to do 
I want to do it. You know, I'm, I'm, we have a slate of 23 original films, uh, sci-fi stuff that Timothy, that's his genre, amazing stuff that we've never produced. We never pitched it because I understood plagiarism and how real it was. It's like when I look at the richness and what God let me see, like you said, what he let me see, if he'd not taken me through that, I wouldn't be prepared for this. I wouldn't be able to stand up there with head of NBC. I'm not whomever. I wouldn't have been able to put a proposal to the, to, to the uh, uh, what is the Emirates. We were the only African-Americans. It was a sister named India also from Beam Prey Out Agency who put the pay package together. We were called Next Level. We had everything from real estate. We had, it was a $16 billion proposal that mm -hmm. got Saudi Emirates and and, and four or nine countries were looking at our proposal. And Private Stock Studio was the one that everybody wanted. And that was the model for us to come and do what Pinewood Studios has done uh, in creating that kind of uh, studio and production space. So we were right. looking about islands and all kinds of stuff in our package, but that's the vision. You can't be talking about, you gotta have vision. And that was what God allowed me to bring uh, to my career and to Hollywood was a vision. Well, absolutely. Thank you. I have a thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. October 6th. He is. Yeah, I, yeah October 6th. Um, we, we are, we are. Uh, True, true lever. This is my. This was, this was my mom's. What I'm wearing. When I just thought about. It. I guess that's why I had to put it on. I didn't know what I was going to wear. <laughs> yes. Gonna, but it was so but good to be here and be comfortable. It was such a wonderful. It's it's uh, you have a very now I understand a very uh, um, calming manner. Yeah, because you know what, um, I always tell people that this isn't an interview, it's more of a conversation because I'm not giving you a job, right? So I call it a conversation because I truly and honestly do these from my heart to truly just learn, to just take a note and say, what is it that you went through that I can learn from and that the world can learn from? You know, because we see you on screen as a, 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 in glamour, we see you in How Stella Got a Groove Back, we see you in Malcolm X, we see you in all these different films uh, we've seen you on stage doing comedy, you know, we've seen you doing many of things, but sometimes we don't know what it took to get to that point, you know, just like they don't see the things that happen behind the scenes before I do these interviews sometimes. Right, right. <laughs> so I think it's important for people to really just sit down and say, you know what, let me just have a truthful moment and tell you, when I did that movie, I, I, it, it was no good. But what you see was something beautiful. You know what I'm saying? I, those are the things that I respect and I want people to hear and know that at the end of the day, Phyllis Yvonne Stickney is truly just a regular person like everybody else, you know, who, who has happened to just live in her purpose and her destiny, which happened to be in entertainment at some point. So those are the things that I want people to understand and know. Um, I always tell people I'm not here to try to find out who you sleeping with and who doing this and who do no, it's not about that. We can make it in a positive manner. So I'll take what I can take right now until it goes where it needs to go. But other than that, we won't we won't do nothing like that. So I mean that it's like it there was so life is interesting. That is the, that's the least of that's like okay, that's like ten minutes. Okay, let's keep it one thousand. Let's like ten minutes of my day. Okay. Right. So maybe right. twenty. Okay. All I right. All right. <laughs> but now I got twenty-three <laughs> hours to do a whole, whole lot with. So when you say what do I do? I I I have a line of, of jewelry. See when uh when two things happened, two thousand one when nine eleven happened, I lost three major contracts. I was going to go into Disney. I was in dialogue with them. I produced uh. One of I've been a co-host of of the uh, black uh, journalist okay. event that they gave every year, and they liked me, so they were bringing me back the next year as a producer. And I'd actually worn my clothing, and so they I'd had a dialogue about bringing manufacturing to go into the shops. Come on, black people, 
Okay. Back to the drawing board. Right. Took me a minute. I'm like, okay, what now? What now? What now? But I, I, I knew the industry was change, changing and I mm-hmm. and it was becoming too ratchet. It was just yeah. like for really, it was just so uh-uh, no. <laughs> no. Right. No, you see that hanging out? That no, we don't need to see that. I'm right. sorry. No. It's time to get back to the real stuff at this point because bring class back. Can we bring class back? Right. It's it's too much thing. It's too many things injected. Like, you know, it's so much stuff that is manufactured now. It's not even funny. You you and you taking people like Instagram models and you making them a star and you putting them in this and you put. And it's like the real people. Who who did real work and spent real time in this is just like, Sing oh, you did that. Line. Okay, that's. I'm uh, glad that you did a uh, 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 numerous of films. I'm glad you have a great body of work. But you know what? Sit this one out. Right, and and so that's that. If I, you know, if, if I could be, you know, being honest, that was the pain. That's why I, I was like, for a minute, I didn't even know. I'm like, well, how do I? I'm I'm I can't, I'm not going to the parties. I didn't do it then. Why would I do it now? Because then right. you're inviting a whole nother level of. And I'm like, that was what I avoided mm-hmm. on purpose. That's why they they like um when I come in, you know, it's like, and I tell right. them, I, I, you know, I I did who I wanted, I did what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. I just did it with a little bit more style. Everybody, that's what you want. To, mm-hmm. yeah, everybody, everybody to know what you're doing and how many times you do it. And, it's let it all hang out now. <laughs> it's, it's like I don't even, I, you know, I need to, I need to be in a body uh, 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 glove. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's too much. It's too much. I don't, and 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 they don't get that. Uh, nobody. It's hard to go in other places. When I start traveling around the world and seeing what they thought about us, and people would always ask me, "Where are you from?" Uh-huh. Where are you from? And at first I was so insulted. What do you mean where I'm from? I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas. I'm from Little Rock. <laughs> you know, and then to be honest, the the painful thing is that it became a compliment. Mm. Cause they didn't see me like Hoochie Mama 99. Exactly. And they would really, really when I was saying I was born, you know, but where's your mother? Here. And then but because what they were saying was how did you keep your culture? Right, right. There you go. How did you keep your culture? Mm-hmm. It wasn't for grabs. <laughs> it wasn't for. Mm-hmm. One thing I want to mention too is that uh, Essence named you in their 25th anniversary issue um, as one of the 200 African American women who has changed the world. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that was so important, uh, especially for Essence, um, to do that it's, and, and name you. Because like I said, it, a lot of times, I don't think you get the credit you deserve. Let me say that. Um, mm-hmm. I think that you know exactly what you're worth. Absolutely. But I don't think you get enough credit for people just saying, you know what, Phyllis Yvonne Sticky, she did it. She was the it girl before it was fashionable or it was popular to be that uh she was the woman who wore the fashion she was the woman who stood up and said no this is what I'm going to do because it's right um so I I don't think you get the credit in that regard although I know you know what's right um but I, I'm I'm glad they recognized you in that way um w- when you get an honor like that what 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 goes through your mind because I, I can just imagine <laughs> Wow, that one, that one was, it came at a time. Uh, there's all, it, it, in my, it, with me, there's always this, I, I say, push me, pull me, because I know that there's a political, that there, there's a political uh, posture and, and clarity and, and, and sophistication that I have that doesn't always cross all lines comfortably. Right. right. Um, and so to be excluded because you're intelligent, to be excluded because you have morals or values mm-hmm. um, 
that was the hardest thing to decide that, no, I'm not going to change. I'm, I'm not going to do that. When they named me, so the funny thing is, so I said all that to say, the hardest thing for me was deciding the photo because you could almost see my boobs. <laughs> so that was the hardest thing for me in the, in the photo shoot. I was bugging because I had in my clothing line, I could have worn some of my stuff, which I'm always in, interested in doing. Um, however, I wore this designer because I didn't want to be difficult. And we'd already had a moment uh, earlier in, in their public, uh, you know, in the, in the uh, history, because they used a white South African makeup artist to do my makeup. And I freaked. Mm. It was doing hard night. And I wrote a letter to Susan. And uh, she understood. But uh, I wonder how many people had a problem with that. You know, um, right. but that was, that's who I was. That's who I am. It was like, why would you have this white South African man doing my makeup when there's so many qualified women of color or people of color and he's from South Africa. Mm -hmm. and, um, but I was used a lot of times in, in, in editorial uh, photographs. A lot of people don't know it's me, but uh, you know, the, um, something about the depression. And then there's another one where my, I'm painted blue. Are you blue? Yeah, that was the one, are you blue? And that's who painted me blue was this, this guy, this South mm -hmm. African. Um, so when Essence named me, hmm. I didn't believe it. You know, I, I, I didn't believe it <laughs> at first. I thought somebody's just saying something, you know. But when I got <laughs> official, you know, the official, official invitation and, uh, and, and to set up the shoot, the photo shoot, um, I'm always in awe and humbled by it because I'm a little girl from Little Rock, Arkansas. God gave me these gifts and talents I never studied. Um, uh, I studied production because I said, well, God gave me these gifts and talents, so I want to learn how to support them in production. Right. And uh, Ed Bullins, oh, wow. Um, was one of the first people to tell me he was, at the time I met him, he was working at the Public Theater in New York, but he was once the Minister of Information for the Black Panther Party, and I think that's what gave him the problems that he had. He was a very outspoken individual. When I met him, he was conducting a writer's workshop. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, I, as fate would have it, he wrote my first resume, because once I auditioned and, and they saw my gifts and my talents, um, and I told him the truth. I said, well, you know, uh, the biggest thing was, I said, I told him the truth. I said, well, I didn't study. He said, well, don't tell anybody that. They don't know that. So he made my first resume. He said, I want to tell you something. Once you get on the stage, it doesn't matter. They'll never mm -hmm. ask. Your job is to get the audition and get on the stage. And this resume will get you there. He said, every time you get a real job, you take one of these fake jobs off. But he made me my first resume to help me get auditions because I had a natural gift, a natural talent, but I needed experience. Mm -hmm. So um, it has been, uh, so when, when I got named, when I, they named me one of the 200 African-American women, when we change the world. Then it was just, oh my God, like I said, the picture. I was looking at the picture, oh God, all of my cultural friends are gonna think I sold out. Oh my God. <laughs> you know, some, you know, my worst critic, I guess, in that way, I just think that I'm supposed to, there's certain things I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to be accountable. And yeah. uh, but then the the bigger part of it, that's what now leads my bio, my new bio is like. I'm talking about, when I call people, I tell people, when, I, when they, they don't know, okay? I said, tell them I'm calling about one of the 200 African-American women who changed the world. That's who I'm calling about, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you about one of the 200 African-American women who's changed the world, not her block, not her <laughs> church, uh-huh, okay, the world. Can, can, can we get a call back? Okay, thank you. That's right. And I say, oh, and come. <laughs> vehicle. <laughs> that's the fun. That's, that's, that's comedy. That's right. It was comedy. You know, comedy, because I could tell the truth. How could Jesus Christ live where he did for 33 years and not wear a hat and not be black people? Come on. Stop Come on now. Nonsense. Stop <laughs> the nonsense. Okay. 
if it didn't start in Africa, okay, everybody, everybody, we can, no matter what you look like, we can agree about the two by two by, right? We all can agree two by two by, right? We talk about the stories, okay, right? So I, I get in and I agree, and I say, okay, now right. Two, two giraffes, two elephants, two orangutans, mm -hmm. right? Everything in the, you know what a flood for the, ooh, all that happened, right? And then Dove came with the leaf, ooh, land, see land, land on the <laughs> land, right? On the land, not the elephant, they get off the ark. Two by two by two by two. Uh, off the ark, they're getting off the ark on the land, right? Now, if civilization started in Switzerland, why ain't you see no orangutans and elephants running through the Alps, my man? What? Come on now. So now, I made them laugh, but I'm telling you what I'm telling you. Yeah. Stop playing. Come you on now. The race don't matter? Well, why he look like that? Hmm. <clears throat> see no straight lambs wool if you're talking about what's in the book mm -hmm. so my comedy that's how dick gregory came to me at the essence when i the first time the only female at that point to single-handedly host in the superdome was me come on Uh, but it was a, it was a bittersweetness because I, I remember when I walked off the stage I was literally trembling because that's a lot of energy seventy five yeah people. yeah good evening and, whoa, whoa, whoa. and I'm in a, and I remember Quentin May who was the oh little producer that didn't want to give me the spot they wanted mm -hmm. to put A J Jamal and I had to fight I said no I, I because I knew one thing for sure he's going to get on the stage and it's going to become a competition. Because he doesn't flow like I flow. Absolutely. I can flow with anything, any audience, just I can flow. Mm -hmm. But he's going to be so busy trying to perform and outdo me, it's going to change the whole, whole I thing. I knew that. We don't work together. We don't know each other. He has no knowledge of my rhythm. I'm none of his. Come on now. No. I called the producer. Susan gave me the number, let me talk to her directly. And when I talked to her directly, directly, baby, when I got to that okay. directly conversation, your girl was hosting by herself. That's right. That's right. And 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 Quinn, no one's ever done that. We had a live audience when I said, and good night, New Orleans. See you next year. He said, we've never had a live audience because we always have them tape it because we know the dome's going to be pretty much empty. But you held them there. I said, yeah, you didn't want to send me a limo. Hmm. Come on now. You know what? I'm glad, I'm glad that you showed up and showed out because sometimes you have to just prove people. <laughs> and I, I, I think it's a Libra thing that, you know, we, I always say that we are chameleons, you know, because I, I believe that. That's in my bio. See? My bio says chameleon. Yes, See? it does. It does. See? So I just, I really honestly and truly believe that we are chameleons as Libras because I already know when I go in a room how to react. You know, I know how to read the room. You understand what I'm saying? I know how to then play off of you, you know? So I think that we just, that, that's just a Libra thing. We, we know how Natural to be chameleons. Diplomats. You are, you're, we're natural diplomats. That's There's right. About the diplomacy, because we, and peacemakers, we really don't, oh, I, yeah. I, you know, I, I mean, I won't sit up here, you know, I've had to, I'm working with that. And I think a part of it is, you know, <laughs> could be PMS. I don't know. I never <laughs> believed in all that, but I'm starting to believe, because I'll be like, who was that lady that just was cussing up in here? Who was she? Come on. Exactly. Don't let her back in. <laughs> She's a mess. <laughs> exactly. I'm telling you. But you know, sometimes you just have to, you just have to work with yourself. You really do. Uh, this is a journey yeah. that we all have to take and we all going to get out the same way. Some sooner than others, some later, whatever, but we all go through the same journey. And if we, at some point you got to start realizing, I'm going to be doing something with this time. That's right. And I remember the day I asked, what was my purpose? I remember. I remember because I was I was having a health challenge and I kept on believing. I ain't, ain't no need me going to the doctor already right now. This is spiritual. I knew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I got on my knees and I saw, what is my purpose? Yes. 
and I heard. And I say now my jokes. And I was like, oh no, you're joking. Wait, no, let me go do this over here. I'll be right. I'm gonna get to that. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get I'm I'll get back. I'm gonna get back. I told God I'm gonna get back at you. I was like, ah, hey, hold, on, hold on, hold on, God, hold up, I'll be back. I'm gonna, let me get back. I told God, <laughs> let me get back with you. He was like, oh, for okay. He was like, oh, oh for real. God was like, oh, really? He's like, you gonna get back to me. That's that's how this going. Oh, look. watch, let me shut it all down. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you get back to me, okay. All of that you was gonna do up in Disney ain't gonna happen. Oh, you was oh hold up. March seventh, eighth, you did your thing in LA. You was oh, you was the bomb, you was the star, you was getting ready to go to oh, they gave you a movie, you was on a movie set. Oh, look at you, look at you, look at you. Look at you. Look at you fly God laughing. God just oh come on. I was oh oh Miss Dickney, you supposed to get on a plane? Oh, they got a season with you as the key, you the star of the season, and they're gonna Support you to work your one moment on the show while you writing it. Oh, you, oh, you doing big things, big <laughs> things. Remember what I told you? God was like, remember what I told you? And he was like, I'll get back at you. I was like, oh, God was like, big things is happening. Oh, you got a show? You got a tour? Uh huh. COVID, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, got your attention, yeah, Miss Phillips. Huh? You ready to say what I say? You ready to do what you say? You told me. Come on now. You told me it was gonna do it. And you see these babies you need to hear from you with your crazy special brand of getting the truth to them. Cause they oh, know yeah. I love, no matter what, they know I got love for them. That's right. That's right. And, and I'm glad you said that because God, listen, the Lord truly knows how to get his message across. Um, and, and don't get me wrong. Everybody can believe what they want to believe, but that's, I, I believe in God, right? I believe in God. And, even even just last night, I tell you no lie, even just last night, I went out to a dinner and it was a group of uh, people that I work with. And, you know, I knew some of the, these people's situations or whatever, you know, what they have going on at home. And I said, one of the girls, and I was like, you know, it's kind of unfortunate that you deal with uh, uh, man problems, I'll say like that. Or she has a husband, but it's like a control issue. So, I didn't say it to her, but I'm thinking like, you know, it's so unfortunate because I watch this kind of thing happen with women around me all the time, you know, from my grandmother on down. Um, so we're sitting up there, we having a good time. We eat, we, we get some drinks or whatever. And I don't drink like that, but I got like a, a some kind of drink that they had or whatever. But in the midst of that, I tell you no lie, I, I just want to stop the whole thing and, and start talking about purpose and start talking about God. Like, and I'm like, you know what, this is not by accident. And I keep finding myself in this situation, so it's something, you know? So We have to, if you got a purpose, it's like, be be on purpose, on purpose. And oh. some people, I mean, I tell people before, Hollywood, now we want to talk about spirituality. No, when I got there, y'all didn't want to talk about spirituality. I was the weird one. You want to laugh because I prayed, I didn't shake people's hands. I was, I was doing this, I would just do like this. Because okay. I <laughs> You coming for me with something. I don't want you leaving nothing. I ain't trying okay. to, nothing you're trying to deposit. I know you're a work of iniquity. I see you. You think I don't see you? I see you, boy. I saw you. That's how I survive. Get, your, get my name out the freezer trying to stop me. Stop all that old stuff y'all doing. Stop. Mm -hmm. It's not nice. And it isn't necessary. And it isn't going to work because you can't stop God's children from fulfilling their divine and appointed mission. You just not. It may be there late. You, you know what I mean? I was preserved for a reason. I, I got they got to see me and understand, overstand. It's possible. Them out there that's looking like a 50 at 25. Mm -mm. You're living too wrong, too fast, too hard. Slow your tail down. Mm -hmm. Slow it down. Okay. <laughs> Move to another city. You didn't work. You didn't wore that one out. Move to another city. Start exactly. off. Do not have to go down into the ground. We can't. Women, we have to stand up because they not everywhere else. They not. Mm -mm, they not doing it like this. We okay. not. We used to be the head of the pack. We were the. We were the example to which everyone wanted to. And now, now. Now, so it's like, uh oh, and, and, and the white man then, mm. come on now. Some of y'all volunteering up for this mess, signing mm. up, quick. 
Some of you volunteering your children up for it, signing them up for it, quick. So we got to look over to the right, to the left, to the up, to the, and I said my word, figure this thing out. You got to figure it out. That's right. It's we true. Got to figure it out. It's true. It's, ha it's happening. It's happening every day. And I, I thank God, honestly, for people like you with the wisdom and the knowledge who really try to share that kind of thing. Um, and even talking about just black people, period, and where we come from and what we are and who we are. Um, and, and, and I don't know if you remember this, but I remember watching a clip of uh, you on Phil Donahue's show. Oh, baby. That's the um, one we got. <laughs> and that, I don't know if you noticed, but that went viral um, recently. Like, I think either this year or sometime last year, but a clip, that clip went viral on Facebook and everywhere else um, of you standing up and making your uh, 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 proclaimment, I'll say. <laughs> Which was um, God. Yeah. Which was God. I, they wanted me to sit in the front row and I was, I said, no, 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 uh -uh, I'm going to uh, sit in the back. And, you know, because I wasn't supposed to be there. I was supposed to be at rehearsal, but it was the first time I didn't go to rehearsal because I knew the person who had invited me was going to have a hissy fit if I didn't. But okay. I just wanted to be nondescript. And I know that God speaks because it was God that called Phil Donahue and Phil Donahue heard the voice of God. I, I laugh now because I didn't know where that voice had come from. And it was, mm -hmm. it was a commercial break and it was, uh, there was already, you know, a lot of energy because of what was being said and all that that was going on in the room. And so I was just sitting there and, you know, of course they knew I was there, the nation and whatever, but, um, uh, I remember I was just sitting there and I had this feeling that I now know what it is, you know, when spirit is about to, um, you know, uh, speak through me. Yeah. And uh, I, I felt this feeling and all I could do, I remember sitting there and it was this thing that happens in me. So I'm like, D -d 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 -d. it's like a, D -d 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 -d. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's what it feels if I if I gave it a sound that's what it would be so so um and I'm like no no because I knew what that was I was like no 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 and then all of a sudden I stood and I said what spirit said Mr. Mr. Donahue I have something to say I don't even know I don't have that voice and and he came right to me and gave me the mic and said we're coming you after me and that's how it happened I, but I didn't know what I was going to say. Spirit did, because Spirit called him over there, Mr. Garner. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, well, who the hell is that? Exactly. What's exactly. going on? I didn't say that. <laughs> Why do you, you know what? It, when it leaves, it leaves, truly. It I was, true. I was, because I, I was like, I don't want to be on camera. Oh my God, now Roger's going to know I was, I didn't get a rehearsal. Oh, this, I'm thinking about I'm not a rehearsal. I'm thinking all the mundane stuff. And Holy Spirit was like, I had a message I needed you to put out there. And, yeah. And I was trying and, to dis, you know, dis, distance myself from the nation because they were so, yeah. the, you know, but it, that, that, and I kept saying, won't it die? But I remember calling my mother, like, Mama, I said, and, and so she was there. She said, I heard you. I said, Mama, what do you think? And she said, well, you told the truth. That's right. That's right. Because part, And part of what you said, uh, I, don't, I can't re quote the whole thing, uh, or I can't remember, rather, right now. But part of it, uh, you said the Holocaust was the greatest atrocity on film, and ours was not. Um, and all those people applauded you. But, you know... I'll say this too, nothing can outweigh the truth, right? So I can say all I want to say, I can throw all I want to throw, but nothing can outweigh the truth. And no matter if I'm Asian, Hispanic, white, or Jew, or, 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 or believe in uh, Allah, or anything else, a Muslim, I should say, um, or, or anything else, if I hear the truth, I know it, you know, and I have to respect it. And I think that's what they did. And, 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 and all I could say was that she said, well, it was, it was balanced and it was the truth. Mm -hmm. And it was, and all I kept, but I knew 
that the purveyors of talent in Hollywood had an issue with, with the organization that he represented. And I right. knew because I was aligned with him, not them. I paid a lot of dues. I paid, I lost a lot of work because of that moment. Mm. And I knew it was gonna affect, that's why I didn't wanna be seen. But I couldn't stop spirit. Yeah. And now, you know, so, it's not the same as it was then. Now their children, right. grandchildren are holding the reins and they feel a little bit differently about it. So. Yeah, yeah. So in, in that, in that you saying that, uh, I want to piggyback off that a little bit um, because I've seen an interview that you did with uh, Sister Circle uh, a few years ago. And it was they last, asked you. Sister Circle oh, was last year. It was uh, actually this year. It was? Yeah. It was, uh, it was, it was, it was right before the pandemic because I was doing the show in January. It was January. That's true. That's true. You know what? That's, that's right. Cause he did talk about the show. Go back for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> but it's almost next year. We're almost at the end of the year. Yeah. yeah I know yeah. it's going so fast, but <laughs> that that's true though. So, uh, this year, let me correct that. Um, and they asked you in that interview about what you thought about Monique's situation, uh, and everything. Um, and you pretty much gave a, 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 what you felt was, was valid. Um, but what I wanted to know from you was not about Monique, but uh, you said there were things that happened to me in the industry that I didn't think. Um, looking back now, do you wish you had have said something uh, about the things that were happening at the time? No. 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 Mm -mm. There's no way for, uh, in this male dominated society, um, a black woman can't be raped, first of all. When I, I right. grew up, uh, they don't believe that, you know? So we, right. first of all, you got to know what the rule books are. That's what I said, you got to know what the rule books are. You know, That's they right. said it's not property. I'm mm. still three fifths on the constitution. Let's keep it 1,000. They haven't changed yeah. the American constitution. So that's what we need to stand up and talk about if we really want to talk about something. That's why the world allows us to be beaten and broken and uh, without coming to our defense in the way that we believe they should because we're not coming under a nation. We're coming under, there's no country called black. Um, right. Um, and so, and then when they make us take on the label of African, uh, it disengages our ownership to this land. So that was also a political ploy, but you know, I'm getting deep over them again, right? Uh, so, <laughs> but that's, um, so no, I don't because, because I wouldn't have had the career I had. Okay. That's, that's I, fair. And, and let me just be, be very, even more candid. These were, uh, these were people that I knew. Mm. These were people that took un, uh, unfair advantage. Um, of, of, of my trust of them. Mm hmm and uh, my desire to try to align myself with people who at least were in a similar field. Because sometimes I, may, I would go to red carpet and I was always, always by myself. I didn't have a husband, didn't have a, you know, a boyfriend or mate. And, uh, and so there were guys in the industry that um, I knew before I became, quote unquote, a, a celebrity. And so mm -hmm. I felt that we had a certain camaraderie. And so they saw me after I was a celebrity. I was like, oh yeah, I wanna go to the movies. And this movie, uh, trip to the movies turned out to be a rape. Mm -hmm. uh, I've never talked about it. Um, what would, they would have done the same thing. Well, what were you doing there? Or what time? Right. Huh? So did I want to take myself through that? Uh, I'd done it first. I'd done it. Uh, it, it, it uh, I lost my virginity to rape. And I, and I uh, uh, press charges at that time. That's how I know a black woman can't be raped in, in, in America. Uh, I was all of 16 years of age. Um, uh, and when we reported it, they interrogated me, the police, and I never will forget the question they asked. They asked me, did I have an orgasm? To which my response was, what is an orgasm? Mm. And what, why would you ask a rape victim if they had an on? Exactly. So now the questioning, of course, is changed and is quite different uh, than it was then. Um, uh, 
and then my experience with uh, the person that was in, in the in the industry, um, they haven't fared very well. Mm -hmm. The karma, oh God, will get you. That's right. Uh, they're going through some real serious uh, uh, health challenges, and I knew that I wasn't the only one they did it to. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it's uh, really a circle of life, like Lion King say. <laughs> uh, because you you know that what you put out will come back eventually. Um, and, and that's why I always tell people, be accountable for what you do, because whether I call you the B word today, and I'm sorry for tomorrow, I still have to be accountable. Oh so, my God, you don't understand. I've been, I mean, that's what I said. I have, I've said words in the last two months and, and my husband was saying, you know, baby, I think you got PM, or uh, what is it? Uh, what is it that happens when you get, you know, hot flashes or whatever? And I was like, menopause. no, I'm not menopause. And I was like, no, uh -uh, no. <laughs> well, I met Hilda Faye. I mean, Hilda Faye, baby. I, I was like, whoa, what in the world is her problem? Hmm. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> but no, I, uh, I mean, the Me Too and all that, I just, I feel, but I say to the ones who, that's why I said earlier, the Me Too, okay, but for real, that's, that was the tongue in cheek, that was a joke about mm -hmm. how, you know what I mean? Uh, that this whole studio system that we weren't a part of, but it existed, that, that was kind of the understood you know, un unwritten rule that if I if if you needed to go and they needed to lend you out to the studio or to, you know, they bought your clothes, your stockings, your shoes, your, you know, so you were somewhat beholden. And that's right. You know, I mean, it's why in the beginning I would never say I was an actress because I you can't pay me money just to do something. I have an mm -hmm. art. I'm an art. There's a political and 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 social responsibility to the That's role right. I choose to lend my energy and my spirit to. This is how I decided to walk this walk, you know. And so I'm willing right. to share with others that are coming or that want to come along this journey how to do it. You don't have to go in that door, as I was saying earlier. There are other doors. You can pick those other doors, and they will all be successful. Some may take you quicker, but then, what price for your soul? There you go. And and, and speaking of uh, of the work, um, because I, I can't hold you up all night. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> what what are your favorite? Uh, or, or I want to. Well, yeah. What was your favorite role? Uh, if you had to pick a top three out of all the roles that you've done. Ah, uh, wow. If I had to pick a top three. It would definitely be Women of Brewster Place because that was my first and all of the, 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 the love that went into doing the role, getting the yeah. role. Um, Women of Brewster Place would uh, definitely be there. Uh, what's love got to do with it? Because of what I was able to do. Um, and New Jack City, because even though I wasn't kooky, I was memorable in the role, in, in the film. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think you. I think you picked probably my top three too. I don't think I. I could have did it any better. So uh, yeah, I, I have to agree with you on that. <laughs> <laughs> but let, let's just uh, 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 recap a little bit. Um, so as far as what you're working on now, so you you're getting back into film, you're getting back into comedy, of course. You did some shows before the uh, pandemic. Um, but what are you working on anything currently? Or are we waiting? What's going on? I'm current. I will. I'm working on something now. You know, I had to recreate myself, so to speak, for the for the new times because now mask and social distancing and all of that is new in in in, in our conversation and vocabulary now. So I'm really mm -hmm. I created a dinner party thing that I can come live or we can do it virtual and um and um you know up to if we're doing it live. It, it depends on the capacity or the room, but we're really doing up to uh, 50 people 
and we're tr we're trying out it on on October third. Uh, my sister for my sister, she's uh, hosting one in in uh, Texas. So I'm gonna be live there because I get to be uh, around her and and my family. Um, and I'm writing on my new book and and getting the one one edited for. Uh, delivery to the publisher. So hopefully that will bring you the three book deal that I'm looking for. And we are going to start a, shall I, can I say the name of it? Um, a reality show. All right. But, um, but with class. Okay. Okay. You know, it has a, cause I, I forget exactly how I was, I was working on the, the treatment today. So it's, Fabulous Ladies of the South. Mm. And there's, uh, a bit when I was, I just spoke to uh, Ambrians, who's a millennial, and she was like, oh, Miss S. And she liked, I was telling her who the women were. Uh, varied fields from uh, an NBA, um, an ex-NBA player that's now coach to, um, uh, who is, who is, who is my other person? Oh, there's one uh, minister that's in, uh, Houston, female. Both okay. both the pastors are female. One is young, and so what's that like being a pastor, young, and what's dating like? You know, those mm -hmm. are, what's dating like for her? She's a woman. You know, how do men feel about her being a pastor and dating? So we've had this conversation, and she happens to be my family through marriage. She's my uh, brother-in-law's cousin. So she's, mm -hmm. uh, I think, did we say, where did we say, where I said, oh yeah, we're going to start with V. Her name is Valencia. We call her Pastor V. So we're going to okay. start Start with Pastor V, and then who else is in, in Texas? And Pastor Linda. I'm the common denominator, but there's a one, the woman who owns, the only African American woman who, who has a contract with the uh, state of Arkansas. Um, um, who is, oh, Chef uh, Kareen uh, Linton, who's in Dallas, who was a uh, designer for Teddy Riley when I met her. And okay. she. Yeah, she does. so she did some pieces for me, um, but we maintain our friendship. She went to Cordon Bleu and, and has an amazing career now as a chef. Um, you know, that like that, like that. Like, what's the, oh, Dr. Maddox, who's a psychologist in, um, in Arkansas. Uh, but through them, through, through, through Leanna, we get to talk about politics because she's dealing with, in a Republican state, Arkansas, which is the fourth richest state in the nation. A lot of people don't know right. that they take place, but... So what's that like? So I get to talk about politics, but through how, how her situation and experience is being in this Republican administration with the first black mayor ever in the state. Um, uh, and then who else? So we, of course, we get to deal with spirituality and religion um, and, and then just stand like that. So I really am excited about that. And I would love to get my one woman show um, uh, up and about uh, just feeling what, Hollywood and the industry is going to, how they're going to reposition themselves. So I'm really working on creating things that I can do with autonomy. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm uh, looking forward to my dinner parties. That's what, that's what I want to, I want to bring because I can talk like we're talking. Uh, but right. it's, sort of, it's a mixture of clue because everybody doesn't know. I w I'm going to be the first, but I'm also going to have other people coming to the dinner party. But it's, okay. it's, so it's a mixture of clue. You got to guess who the dinner guest is. Mm. That's going to be your entertainment, your dessert and entertainment. Okay, that sounds very interesting, okay. So, you know, at, because we wanted to do it in Atlanta, where are right. you? Where I'm are in you? Miami. You're in Miami, okay. So you are on the same time, you're Eastern Standard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we, so we were looking to either have hosts, uh, in various cities, because this time we're only going to do Zoom for a few people, but, okay. but we're looking to see how can, how can we do it most effectively. Um, and it was really, it started because I walk with my sister in the morning. I don't get to have, take my classes here, uh, but uh, I've come so that I'm in place for the dinner party and just spend some time. She mm -hmm. said, uh, so I was walking one morning and the lady that walks with her kept saying, oh my God, your sister is so funny I love her mind but talk, she's telling my sister about me right that, and so one day she says oh why don't you would you come to dinner I want my friends to meet you and I thought and then all of a sudden I get nervous and all that because <laughs> I, I gotta reveal who I am because now I'm just this I'm in I'm Dr. Kamal my sister's a doctor 
And um, I'm Dr. Kamal's sister. And now I have to reveal. So I, I asked her, I said, so after we finished walking, I said, so you have time after? And she said, yeah, I can hang out for a minute. I said, cool, cool. Because I, she also is a, a student of yoga, as, I, as am I. And okay. so, um, so I said to her, I said, I want you to Google this name. And so I told her the name to Google, and of course she pulled it up, and of course that's me. And I said, so, I don't want to say no, I don't want to do the dinner. I said, but I have to monetize it because it's work for me. So she says, so what do you think about 150 per person? <laughs> you okay. Get so you get the 100 and they get the, the kitchen gets the, 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 I said, sure. So that took me into, now I've got to package it. I said, so let me go to it and think of how I'm going to do it. And so mm -hmm. I looked and guess who's coming to them? Mm. You know what? You, you got a clever mind. And I already <laughs> knew this. But you just, you just got a, a, a special, uh, oh, God, I can't, I can't even name it. That's how special it is. But we have that kind of thing going on. And I know that you have more than that. So I'm excited. I'm excited. So, so you, I want to talk to you about hosting one. You know what I mean? Okay. Because what, we, what we said was, okay, so we're going to do it this way. We're, she found a venue. Okay, so, I'm, I, so she got the venue. And um, I'm going to do live. Because we were supposed to do it in Atlanta Labor Day. But my manager also owns a league. And so the league took up too much. She was like, Phyllis, we want to postpone it. And I'm like, okay, but I got to do something before the end of the year. I got to get Netflix and I got to see people something to see me. Exactly. Like, well, she used to be. Well, I mean, how is she now? Well, is she funny? Is she funny? Is she so funny? I'm not, I'm not sure. Well, I know she's an actor. <laughs> she in a, she's a comedian? Oh, I never knew. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's what I deal with for real. And right. so me getting on stage, giving this 45 minute performance that I'm going to, so that's my gift to the people that are invited on October 3rd. And uh, um, you have my email address? Uh, I don't. Wait. Okay, so I'm gonna tell it to you. I'm gonna tell it. I'm gonna, I sent you some, no. Let me make it easy for you. Okay. Let me write and, it down and now. We'll take it from there, we'll take it from there. But because I'm really excited about it, I think it's gonna be, I mean, I've told a few people here and they, and so people are already RSVP and, and <laughs> I'm like, but hold up. We only, <laughs> we only got 20. We only doing 20. It's just 20 people invited. <laughs> and so now we see that we should have or we could have added the Zoom component and had people. But what I want to do is I want to send a party box to you. Okay. So you'll have the same things that we have. So when you're oh. on Zoom, oh, look alike. We all got our mess. We all got our stuff out. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Because, and then I realized because of my, my the, the acting piece, there are people that I can invite that I couldn't invite because I would have had to physically fly them and house them. But because of how we're doing things this way, I can have them participate. I've done three or four productions on Zoom now. And I'm like, okay. Yes, 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 yes. I'm excited for this. That sounds good. This could happen. Okay. <laughs> Listen, you, you uh, I tell you, uh, you have a lifelong supporter in me. So as long as I'm alive, you have a supporter. I don't care if everybody else throw away Phyllis Yvonne's sticking and say, I, I don't know who that is. I, you have somebody here who supports you and who will mem remember you. So I, I, I'm just letting you know. Thank you. That's so anything. That's comedy, my new state, my new, it's going to be say my name. What's my name? There you go. Phyllis <laughs> Yvonne say it three times. I tell people for real. And you'll meet people that they'll tell you. She, she sure does it because I say say it three times. Phyllis Yvonne Stickney. It's not that difficult. Come on. Phyllis Yvonne Stickney. Say it one more time. Uh -huh. Yvonne. Because <laughs> I'm not that lady. I'm not. Hey, ain't you her? I don't know who her is. Nope. Come on now. I said, it ain't no secret. It's on the credits. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's, on the <laughs> it's all up there. I said, if I was up with titties out and booty out, you'd know my name. Exactly. Come on now. Stop it. Act like I said, <laughs> don't two syllables. Don't, don't act like you can't say two syllables. Stick me, my nigga. Stick me. Come on now. Let's keep it. So I had to, you know, had to keep reinventing. I said, okay, now, God damn, I, this is a milestone year, Father. You know, <laughs> I don't want to keep on doing this for another 25. So we right. got to this thing here. We got to do these dinner parties. We got to get them rolling. We got to That's get right. 
that three book deal with a modest advance. We ain't trying to break the bank. Right, right. You got to eat. And I tell people, do you have any preservatives you put on your money? Because <laughs> I need some. Because that I'm could not be a guess it may not still be. Come on no, now. Eat on a regular basis? Okay. Come on now. <laughs> Stop playing. Stop playing. I mean, call me. Dave Chappelle, call me. You know, you open for me back in the day. I'm the only girl who could say that. I could say, Dave Chappelle, open for me. I That's mean, right. He reminded me. I did a show with, with Monique in Vegas, July. Open for her. You know, humble myself. Uh, but Because I, I know all I need is just that one, that one hit. I, just that That's one it. Hit. And That's it. I Come on got now. This. I got this. So all y'all that was trying to stop, look at me. Look. Mm. Still look. here. Still here. Mm. Don't try. God ain't gonna let you stop me. Mm. Mm. He just had me Come sit on. on the sideline taking copious notes. I tell him I'm the spook who's been sitting by the door taking copious notes. That's right. Mm. And, and if they don't know, now they know. I ain't miss a beat. <laughs> I can tell you how it went, how it sounded, the note they sang it in, and what. That's right. What they was wearing. <laughs> oh, oh no. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what? Play with me. Do not play with me. Don't play at all. At Don't all. Don't play. Don't play. I, you quiet. know what? I, I'm, I'm done. You know, but. I am. I'm. I'm glad we was able to have this conversation though. But uh, seriously, about the dinner party though. So I'll email you, so you'll have my email directly, um, and everything. Um, so we'll we can get that together, because uh, yeah. I definitely want to be a part of that, and we can stay connected, um, of course. And uh, before I forget, just let people know where they can follow you again. Please follow your girl at Phyllis Yvonne Stickney. Ha what is it? Hashtag Phyllis Yvonne Stickney on IG. I'm Phyllis Stickney on Twitter, on Twitter, right? I'm on yeah. Facebook, Phyllis Stickney. But the most important thing is to follow me, 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 follow me. P H Y L L I S Y B O N N E S T I C K N E Y. Phyllis Yvonne Stickney, Phyllis Yvonne Stickney. That's my All right. name. Don't forget it. Ooh. <laughs> 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 I tell him I'm not well, Tony. I got You know well. what? All right. Because we all, we all ain't. Like, you know, we all a, a, a few screws loose. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you had to be to survive this. Woo! Come on now. You know what? I gotta, I gotta ask you. You know what? I'm, I'm done with the interview. So we, we, you know, we, we cool. Um, on that. So, but you have these uh wonderful pictures behind you. Oh so. yeah, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I, I wanted. I yeah. wanted to know what what was the significance and and why. Well, no, I I buy uh black and whites. I love black and whites. These are from my gallery of fabulous ladies. You know the ones, and so I didn't because I know that this is just temporary. I didn't want to. Yeah. Them, but I so I put them here just to set them because I was showing them where I wanted them to place them on the wall, and they just ended up still being there when it was the interview. Because usually, mm. I'll show you, this is where I thought I was going to do it at first. It's going to be dark for a minute, but this is, oops, that's where I thought I was doing it. <laughs> I thought I was going to do it on that wall. You see? Can you see it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see it. Right? But I wanted, I didn't want to do it over there. <laughs> I changed my mind <laughs> at the last, and we hadn't put the pictures up. We hadn't mounted them, but they, I just told them, leave them there. They're fine. So, it's, of course, you know, it's, it's uh, Bessie. Um, um, Josephine and yeah. Billy. Yeah, Josephine and Billy. And oh, so wow. I, you know, uh, I brought these from Little Rock, from the studio there. And I was in my office and my hallway, I had history, you know, those that came before. Mm. All the black artists, I had female on, females on one side and males on the other. So in putting this place together for what we're going to be doing, I just wanted to bring some space, you know, some of that. And I just believe in having uh, Black art around me. Yeah, I could tell. 
I can tell, but it's a it's a special kind of thing, you know, um, to 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 be reminded of that daily. So I, I'm glad that you you know are somebody who is really grounded in that kind of thing, you know, because a lot of people really don't even you, you say some of these names now and it's like what who how so no. you know for for me literally I I me I sit and I learn because that's just something that I'm interested in. And it's, like I said, it's important for us to know where we've been so we can know where we're going. Yes. And just like earlier, I, I sat and I watched some of the Motown uh, people um, talk about the things that they went through on the label or at the time in the world um, and, and that kind of thing. But um, it was like Mary Wilson, Otis Supremes and uh, Otis Williams. Um, mm. It was a it was a, a few people and, I, and Mary is somebody that I took interest in very much so because I I have an autographed picture on my wall of her so I read I read both of her books and everything so I really took an interest in the Supreme story because of you know the 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 triumph and the tragedy uh, and the tragedy right so it, it Ron, was a lot Ron, Ron, now. Barry you need to be shamed <laughs> Barry let me just let me just have a PSA moment right now since we let me holler at your bird. <laughs> and Isha, how you tell me, boy, that girl look like you done stuck her out. So I'm like, that you know ain't <laughs> You can't make this stuff up, I'm just saying. Oh, God. No, it's you can't. Up. You can't. <laughs> Ron, you know, she's, a, she's a sweetie. But she knows, y'all, you know, I can only imagine what she went through, you know, but. Yeah, yeah I, especially uh, being raised by somebody else, uh, you know, that's not even nowhere near y yourself. Yeah, who you, what you really supposed to be getting. Right. C come on now. <laughs> yeah, but I was like, when I saw, when I met Rhonda for the first time, I, was, I just said, in my mind, I was going to bury Shabisha. <laughs> she don't, she looked more like Barry than Barry. <laughs> yeah, it's true. She looked like, Diana, both of y'all. Go up to the corner. Sit down. You need to be saying. <laughs> Both of y'all have time out. Both of y'all. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Years, Come on now. Had to go through that for years. They had that baby went through that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, she's, uh, it's she's crazy. got a film coming up. And I'm supposed to be in that film, Protector of the Gods. I didn't mention that. Uh, but, you know, because I, sometimes I forget all the things. But protect, protect of the gods, we had to put it on a hold. It's the first black a film uh, um, by a black man about Egypt. Mm -hmm. And I'm supposed to, supposed to play a warrior goddess. Oh, nice. Okay. I got to get them abs right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get them abs right. Because I got them. But, that's right. But that's, all, that's awesome. But um, like I said, though, I, I'll email you so we can get this stuff together i don't want to hold you all night because i know how i am and i know how we are look, look. <laughs> right 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 hey, you got an october 6th in there you got your twin uh, birthday in there and so you know we'll be talking forever but but anyway i but, love you. i appreciate you for everything thank god for you i thank you uh you know to stay safe to stay well all your loved ones families and friends to stay safe to be well let no harm come to you that you travel in safety through these highways and byways in this third dimension, this place we call planet Earth. May all, may you, may you be victorious over all your challenges and your challenges. May everything that you deserve and desire from the works and your labors be delivered to you in a timely fashion. As I continue to bless you. This continues. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I receive it. I receive it. And thank you so much. Uh, as you are grateful, I, I, so am I. So thank you for having this conversation of love, is what I like to call it with, with me, uh, because I truly do love you as a person and, and, I, and your spirit uh, is pure, it's, it's honest. Um, unlike, I, I can't say that for everybody, so it, it means a lot. <laughs> So thank you so much again, and this and and we'll talk again soon, and uh, we'll get things together. So you have a great night, and go enjoy all of the good cooking. <laughs> okay, have a, have a good evening. All right, then. Peace and blessings. Bye bye.